I was drunk last night. I'm okay now. A little bit hungover, but nothing major. So, if you want an example of what I'm dealing with, real quick, here it is, okay? And remember, this all goes, falls along the same lines. I'm expected to be absolutely perfect in an undeniably imperfect world, okay? When it comes to my, my mother, my mentalist, my sister. Okay, here's, here's a perfect example. My mom has to make decisions in this life. If she wants to come here, she has to walk. It was going to storm out today. I spoke with my mother personally last night. Okay? And I said, I said, do you want, are you going to come today? And she goes, I don't think so. She's like, it's going to storm. It's still not very nice out. It's, not, it's going to, I mean, it's a fine mom. Maybe it'll be bad if you don't come. Okay? It had been decided. Now, I did leave there was still a voicemail on my phone. Okay, the reason she didn't want to come is, is because it was going to storm out. And when I woke up today, it was pouring out rain. So I had left this voicemail on my phone, outgoing, because I know my mom doesn't, has difficulty sometimes getting her voicemails. And I know she always calls me, so I'm guaranteed if it's something. Saying along the lines of, you know, you know it's, if the decision is yours, it's up to you, blah, 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 whatever, okay. But I'd already spoken with her physically and she said she, she decided it was decided she's not going to come it's my first amendment right to drink it's my first amendment right to not have my phones on if my mom's in any type of hospital i keep my phones on 24 7 okay if that's my first amendment right i'm not committing any crime i'm not doing anything wrong so i've been up but i've been doing other shit um I kind of was like sleeping and then got up and whatever, okay? So it's like 2 o'clock. I decided to listen to my voicemails. And they say nothing about my mom coming here, okay? So I call her. I wonder how she's doing. She's like, I'm waiting for the bus. I'm like, what do you mean you're waiting for the bus? Mama, you would have been waiting down there at the bus stop. I said, I am not dressed. You would have been waiting down at the bus stop. You, you didn't even leave me a message you were coming, but even if you left me a message, I have a right to not, to have my phones off, you understand? If it's been decided, my mom's told me, I'm not coming. And she's like, well, I didn't know what not. Meanwhile, she's waiting for the bus way too early, but we'll set that aside. At least it's not boiling hot out. And I said, Mom, do you even know when the bus is coming? She's like, no. I'm like, Mom, if I hadn't got this voicemail, I would have been oblivious to the fact that you were down there. You would have been all in a panic, all crying, all this, all that. And I would ultimately be blamed even though I did nothing wrong. You get what I'm dealing with here? And we are dealing, we brought, people were brought into my mom's life who have no, and it's good and bad in a way, but they have no idea what's going on before. But that's good because then they're not going to be prejudiced. But it's also bad because they're sitting there in judgment of me and they have no idea what I go through with my mom. Think about it. She tells me she's not coming because of the weather. It's a miserable day out. It was pouring torrential downpours earlier when I was woke up. I went back to bed. I decided to call my mom, see what she's planning on doing. Okay? And I'd actually talked to her today. That's right, I did. Because she found someone to set up that crib for her, a friend's family member or something, and, and she has money, you know, I have money in her house that I don't, that I didn't tell her where it was. That way she won't lose it, you know, or the ghost won't, poltergeist won't, the mischievous poltergeist won't take it. And, um, she'll have the money to pay him to do, set up the crib. So I'd already spoken with her today. And we, we, she's not coming. It's a miserable day. But I hadn't changed my voicemail. So maybe she called again, heard the voicemail, gets confused, decides to come. I'm oblivious sleeping. And then I get blamed. I have accusatory fingers pointing at me, blaming me. That my mom was waiting down there. And I'm blaming, I'd be, I would be blamed because my phones weren't on so she could reach me. See where we're coming from here? It's my First Amendment right to drink. It's my First Amendment right to be hungover. It's my First Amendment right to have my phones off if I don't feel well. Okay? I'd already spoken with my mom this morning because I was up early. 
She's not coming. It's pouring out. I think it'd be better if you stay home. You know, let the church woman know you're not going to church. And you know, but then. She gets confused because she hears my voicemail that I recorded the night before, before I'd ever talked to her, before I ever woke up and it was pouring out. And she was on her way here, okay? But she hadn't gone on the bus yet. So I said, Mom, I am not dressed. I just woke up. The place is a mess. I have to get my bearings after whatever. Please go back inside, wait for my call, and get the next bus. And what do you think she did? Can you take a guess? What do you think she did? She did none of that. She got on the bus. And I called her because I, I had to find out what the times were. And I called because she couldn't find her schedule. I don't know my schedule. So anyway, but I, I found it and I called her and said, please get the next bus. She's like, I'm already on this one. I'm like, Mom, you're going to have to wait. Again, I did nothing wrong. You understand? I did nothing wrong. She's welcome here anytime. She doesn't know if she can walk that, that plus mile, mile plus, or whatever. Um, so it's her decision to make. Is it worth you coming here, okay? And I have these strangers sitting there in total judgment of me and who I am and my life and my dealings with my mom and whatnot. So there is a perfect example. I'm just giving you one tiny example. There are things I can't say or whatever, but there's a perfect example where I would be held responsible. I would be condemned even though I did nothing wrong. I, my mom said she wasn't coming. I woke up it was, because she told me last night it wasn't coming. She told me earlier this morning she wasn't coming. She gets confused because of a voicemail that I had left saying it's up to you whether or not you come. But I'd already talked to you physically. That was a voicemail I'd left the night before. You understand? And suddenly she's on her way and I have to go down there even though I don't feel that great and go and get her. And meanwhile, it was totally up to her all along. I, she's welcome to come here, but she had decided she wasn't going to come, and that's the end of the story. And I said, and when I say to her, I'm sorry, I'm not getting mad at her either. This is not something that I would, I would get mad at her about, but it's very frustrating to me that people who don't have a fucking clue in the universe will sit there as judge, jury, and executioner of me without understanding where I'm coming from or what I'm dealing with on a regular basis with my mom. Okay? She said she wasn't coming. We decided she wasn't going to come. And then she's waiting for the bus. But if I hadn't answered, if I had been still sleeping, hadn't, hadn't, um, hadn't answered my phone, if I hadn't answered my voicemails, hadn't woken up, hadn't whatever, she would have been down there devastated, crying, not, no, not being able to reach me, all upset. And then, the, you know what I mean? And then, meanwhile, I had done absolutely nothing wrong. Okay? So I want to watch those videos when I'm sober and not drunk and decide whether or not I'll release them. I, I know 13 people watched the first one, the part one. There is a part two of I'm expected, you know, I had an epiphany yesterday. I'm expected to be absolutely perfect in an undeniably imperfect world. But here's your example. There'd be people down at the bus stop where my mom gets dropped off absolutely judging me and not having a clue that I had done nothing wrong. It's, you know... Holy fucking shit. And no, I don't feel bad creating this video either. My mom is going to sit there and wait for me to get dressed and get my bearings, okay? The place is a mess. There's no food. I had planned to just have a relaxing weekend. And without her after saying, of course you can come. I, it's important to me that you get to go to church with church woman. But she decided, without any input from me, I don't want to come. And then she changes her mind, and I'm expected to be omniscient. Again, not by my mom. She'll understand. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, if, if things had gone differently, and I was unaware she was down there, or if she had tried to walk here by herself and something had happened to her, I would be blamed. I would be held responsible because I had the nerve to not have my phones on 24-7. You see? You get it? I am expected, when it comes to dealing with my mom, I am expected to be absolutely perfect at all times in an undeniably imperfect world. Okay? And this would make a great memoir, just like my experiences with that friggin' bus company would make a great fucking memoir. The end.